All right, guys, what is going on? I don't know why I went with the nano intro there. Yo, what's going on, guys? It is Zenovo, and today, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I set up streaming through OBS, because I know people have had some questions about that, especially on my old channel, and I figured I would do this because I know some people are trying to get into streaming and stuff like that, so I figured I'd show you guys how to do it. Hopefully, I can make this not too long, and uh, hopefully just hit every single point that uh, is needed. And uh, you can see here, this is essentially the quote unquote final product of what it's gonna be. Don't worry about what's in that top right screen talking about like your contributions, help and feedback. That is where the chat would normally go, which I'll show you guys how to set that up when I get to it. But for right now, I'm just gonna go through the simple steps of how to get this set up and everything. One other point I would like to make is that if you guys do want to stream and not have to go through all this process, if your computer might not be good, or you just don't want to go ahead and go through all the hassle, I would recommend you doing it from your phone, which if you guys want me to make a video on that, I can. It's very simple and very easy. I'm sure you could find it, but if you guys do want me to make the video, definitely let me know. And uh, yeah, so let's just get right into this. All right, so the first thing you obviously want is to get Open Broadcaster Software or OBS. Uh, go through obsproject.com slash download, which all the links for everything that I'm doing here today will be down in the description. So if you guys need any of those, they'll be right there for convenience. You can easily Google them as well, but they'll be down there just for convenience sake. Now we are on the website and you have to download the version that, uh, you know, you pretty much need Windows, Apple, or Linux. One other thing I'd like to point out is when you scroll down here on this page a little lower, we got OBS Classic. This one up here is OBS Studio, which is the one I'm using and the one I highly, highly recommend because trust me, I've used Classic for a number of years, not that I have streamed all too much, but every time I have streamed with OBS Classic, it hasn't gone all too well, and I do attribute that, uh, I do attribute the fact that my computer is not that great, you know, it's, it's really not, but for it to be able to stream with OBS Studio, very, very good, like 95%. Uh, like, you know, out of a, like 95 out of 100, it's amazing. Um, but with regular OBS, with OBS Classic, it, it's not all too great. So definitely recommend going with OBS Studio and it just looks better as well. So definitely go with that one. Now, once you have that downloaded, you will be up with the screen. I'll actually have to hide all these um, things here, but you will be left with this. So you have this one scene and you have no sources in here. So the way to add sources and scenes, you can use the plus buttons to add them and it'll give you that list, or you can right click and add. Um, same thing here, you know, right click and add, and then, you know, you can scroll through. And then also if you highlight a uh, scene or source and click the minus button, it'll allow you to delete it like that. All right, so once you get into that, the first thing you wanna do is of course, set up the game capture, which if this is all you're gonna have is the game capture, as you can see here, if that's all you're gonna have, you might as well just use the other method, which again, if you guys want me to make a video on, let me know, but there is another method on streaming directly from your phone. Uh, the only thing is like, there's certain things about like your mic and you know, music and stuff like that, trying to add that in there. So, and it's also YouTube specific. So if you guys do have anything like that, that let me know, you know, like I said, I, I'll, I'll definitely make it if you need me to, but right now just going through OBS and the first thing, is to get the game capture and how do we get the game on game capture well all right guys so we are now on the samsung website samsung.com slash us slash slide sync and uh, side sync not slide sync and um essentially what this is uh for this app is this allows you to stream your phone to your computer and you can see here you could stream your phone screen as well as like your notification bar and stuff which is cool it can be very useful in certain situations but to get the phone screen on there is what we have to do and i should have mentioned this previously but this is only for Android users, so if pretty much this step is only for Android users, but if you know how to get your iPhone screen onto your computer, you know, that's pretty much as easy as that, and then the rest of the steps should be able to, you should be able to follow suit with the rest of the steps, but if you cannot get it on there, might want to look for another way to stream. I know Elgato, actually, you can stream your iPhone to it, so, um, you know, and you can stream your Android device as well, but I know iPhone works much easier, apparently, because Android, you have to go through a whole process, but anyways... This is how you set this up. All right, so the next thing is the side sync. Once you get it up, you can see here once you load it, it'll ask you to search up for your phone, which you have to download the app on your phone as well. And once you get them uh, you know, synced up and connected, it should pop up like this, meaning it is connected. And then you have the phone screen option, which, which once you click that, should pop up like this. 
and uh, you should be able to see the screen. You can see I can like scroll and click through with the, um, you know, with my mouse and everything, which is, it's nice, it can be convenient. However, the best thing you wanna do if, you can, if your computer can handle this and your phone can handle this, is you click on the arrow and you click enable presentation mode. Right now it's disabled for me, but you wanna go to enable it so that you can run it on your phone, at, like the screen, because if you run it normally, your phone screen will be black, but this screen will be as it is now. But enabling presentation mode will allow you to use your phone screen. So you can see here, I'm not moving my mouse or doing anything, but I'm still scrolling because obviously I'm using my phone screen. So it's definitely a lot easier to do that. Also, I added a new scene so that you guys can see it and like move along with me. So make it a little easier so you guys can understand a little more. So once you are there, you go ahead and go to add and sources, and then you go to game capture. And once you click that, click OK, rename it if you need to. And then for the mode, you go to capture specific window, which you want to change the window over to sidesync.exe slash, or not slash, but sidesync.exe and then the phone screen. So it allows you to capture it. And then from there, you can resize it how you need to. And I know mine is not from top to bottom, which I don't know why. Also, I don't know why it's not snapping right now, but um, yeah, so you could see here on this one, which this is also another thing I use for scenes. If you guys need to do anything like this, it's very simple. You know, all I did was upload an image, which I made in Photoshop, and uh, you can kind of transition through these. So it makes it very easy and very, you know, very quick. But uh, you can see here, my game capture is a little smaller because the way I had adjusted it before. So um, don't worry about that though, how it looks. It's just, all that stuff is kind of based on what I had to do for mine. But anyways, back to this. So once you have adjusted it, you've set it up. So now you see your phone screen. It's very simple and easy. And the rest of the stuff is just adding the images in there. So the first thing is adding the overlay image, as you can see here, pretty much what I have on my videos. If you guys know how to do that for your videos, it is the exact same thing. And all you have to do is right click, add image, and um, you can have it actually, you know, make a slideshow as well, which is pretty cool. You can have it like cycle through some stuff, which can be very useful. But as you can see, all I did is add the image, you can browse, and then, um, you know, I made this in Photoshop. So if you guys wanna know how to do that, actually, I'll leave a link down in the description of my older video on my older channel so you guys can see how to do that. I will make an updated one, I think, uh, within the next week or two because I feel like it is necessary because the old one, it's not that old, and it's not that uh, different, really, but I feel like it just does need a bit of an update for whatever reason for me, so I think I will do that. But yeah, so once you get that overlay made, all you have to do is go to the image, stretch it out make sure it fits um, like you need it to and uh, that's pretty much it for that step now the next thing is just depending on if you have a webcam or not and that is using your video capture device now you can see when the eye is um, you know on I can't it doesn't show it for you because also by the way this image is for the webcam overlay so it's again the same thing it works like any other image it's very easy and simple and uh, also you can see the phone screen is right there so it is capturing the mouse which one thing if you do want to do you can right click and go to properties and you can actually make it so that it does not capture your mouse you can see your capture cursor take that off and then you're good so it's not capturing the mouse anymore but anyways back to the other image so again the first of all the webcam overlay is a basic thing but to the video capture device what you want to do for this is you want to right click add video capture device for your webcam click ok Whatever webcam you have connected should pop up here. So you see I have the USB, you know, I, I pretty much have my uh, webcam for my laptop and uh, then you can configure it, do whatever. Only reason I can't do it right now is because I'm using OBS to record this, you know, OBS screen. So, you know, that's why it seems a little weird, but yeah, it's, it's not exactly complicated, but uh, you know, it's just different. So anyways, remove that, let's move on. Very simple to set it up. And now the last thing you wanna do, uh, depending on what you're setting up, is adding a chat. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you guys that. So right now it's showing the side sync screen, but the way to get the um, capture for your chat is very simple. So what you wanna do here is you wanna go ahead and go to your youtube.com slash live underscore dashboard, and it'll show you here at your dashboard. You got you know all these settings and stuff like that for when you're live streaming. Um, you know, you could check this out even when you're streaming from your phone, so it's simple, but this is just through YouTube. Uh, Twitch will be the same thing. There isn't a similar option for the chat, and that's all you have to do. So here on YouTube, there's these three dots. Once you click it, there's an option to pop out the chat, and that's what you're going to do, and it sets it up there in, you know, however, whatever side of the screen, and if you go here, you can see here that it is not capturing it, actually, and let me see if I can fix that. So once you pop out the chat, you want to go to create and window capture. And from there, you'll see it should auto. Well, it doesn't, it did it automatically for me, but you'll see that it gives you an option to do the YouTube chat. So once you have that set up, you'll see it pops up here and uh, you can reorganize it as necessary. So I'm actually going ahead and uh, 
you know you could take this if you click on it use these arrows to move it up and down through uh you know the sections it can um you know you can cover it up if needed so you can see here it's not covering certain things up but however you want to set it up if you want to pop it up like this do it you know set it up like this because i don't remember if it goes from top to bottom or bottom to top but you can adjust it how you need to and make it look nice you could change it to use night mode which i actually do prefer a little more all right so i was having some issues setting up with night mode but regardless uh that's pretty much how you get the chat there and uh yeah anyways that is about it i hope you guys do enjoy uh like i said if you guys do need any help let me know down in the comments if there's any questions that you do have uh, one thing I actually will go over just very, very quickly because I'm not exactly very, um, you know, knowledgeable in these certain things to tell you about the settings and stuff like that. But, you know, just from what I have, you guys can copy it if you need to. It just depends on your, you know, settings, what you got for your computer and your internet and everything. So you can see here streaming service. I'm using YouTube gaming at the moment. So, uh, you know, you go primary. Your stream key is very easy to get if you go ahead and go to your live dashboard. And you go down here, you could see you reveal the stream key and then you copy and paste it into that section. So it's very, very easy. And once we get back into here, um, you know, just copy and paste it in there and you're good to go. Output, there's nothing too crazy. You know, you see output mode, simple or advanced. I'm at simple. Video bitrate 2500. Encoder software X264. Audio bitrate 160. Recording path, probably should cover that up because it's using my name. Um, but yeah, you just use that. So anytime you record videos, that it'll pop up in that. And one thing you do want to change because this starts, does start off as a flash video. You, which is FLV, you want to change that over to MP4 or MOV because I think that's what most likely people use, especially for recording stuff. Um, but you can convert, you know, I've done an FLV file and converted it. So if you need to do that, go ahead. It's not hard, um, which the program actually for that is Handbrake, which I'll leave down in the description as well. Um, it's just a thing to convert, you know, files and stuff like that. So it helps out a lot. But uh, yeah, you can see recording quality as well. Same as your stream quality, which is not uh, anything special. You know, sample uh, rate 41.1 kilohertz. And yeah, nothing too crazy. This is what I have for my video running at 30 frames because 60 is just obviously a little too much unless you're, you know, have a crazy powerful computer, um, you know, or you have, you can stream high quality. There's really not much point, which I don't stream high, high quality, but I stream, you know, well enough that it's not like blurry garbage, like 360p, you know, or 480p. As you can see here, we have uh, hotkeys for starting and stopping streaming, uh, recording, you know, stuff like that, changing to certain scenes and stuff. So it does help out a lot. This is definitely very uh, convenient and useful. I don't use them really, but you know, it's there for those purposes. And uh, yeah, that is it for uh, the video, guys. If you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments. Like I said, uh, I think I did well enough to explain some certain things. There have been some things where, you know, I've had to direct to other videos and stuff like that. Um, but like I said, if you do have any questions, let me know. If you do want me to show you guys how to stream just directly from your phone and keep it simple like that, let me know down in the comments. And uh, yeah, so like I said, hopefully this was informative and um, I'll answer any questions you guys have, hopefully if I can. And that's pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.